On a day when the temperatures reached into the hundreds, I paid a visit to the south unit of the Teddy Roosevelt National Park. The little squeaks you hear in the background are them talking to each other. They burrow in large colonies and they're not well loved by ranchers as you can see here. This is a prairie dog hole. A few prairie dogs stand on guard watching for hawks and snakes and other intruders. This is another prairie dog town, sort of on the Little Missouri River bottom. You can also see some of the buttes and the scoria that makes the Badlands so unique. At times the wildlife can cause traffic jams. These buffalo are blocking the highway. I made the choice not to get out of my car to take these pictures. Apparently I'm not the only one with this common sense approach. And the giant buffalo still hasn't moved, and neither are we. Somewhere traffic's going. Watch this handsome man whisper sweet nothings to his girlfriend. After I escaped from the traffic, I started a long slog uphill. The reddish rocks that you see are scoria, which is clay that was baked by underground coal fires. It's impossible to capture the size of this without panning. It just boggles the mind how huge the Badlands really are.
I find the smaller vistas easier to take in. Eventually I made my way back to the Little Missouri River bottom. The Teddy Roosevelt National Park was recently named as one of the top in natural history. The south unit also lies near the town of Medora, which is a heavy tourist destination, includes shopping and a musical, and a lot of historical museums. It is well worth visiting and definitely off the beaten track.